Hi, this is Bonnie Francis at QAC TV, and I have a new program to tell you about. I've had Ann, Annie Bick come in. She is the Maryland Access Point Program Coordinator. And so she's going to fill us in on what's going on with the program right now, where they are. It is a new program. It's just started. She is located over at the Department of Aging in the Community Service Building. So I'll let her explain the program. Welcome, Annie. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to tell you about Maryland Access Point as it is a new program for our county. And the idea of it is actually a national idea. Um, it started with the concept of creating aging and disability resource centers. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the national idea. So the Maryland um, team got together to create Maryland Access Point to fulfill the national requirements to be an aging and disability resource center. So Maryland Access Point is um, actually to create a one-stop shop for services for people with disabilities ages 18 and up and anyone in the aging um, category. So they can come to the Kramer Center and get help with a wide variety of different things, creating a one-stop shop. So we have the health department represented at the Kramer Center. We have a representative from the Department of Social Services and of course the Department of Aging. So you can come to our center and hopefully get your questions answered at the center. And if not, then we know the resources to point you in the right direction. So for Queen Anne's County, anybody that has a question as far as a disability or anything, you would be able to get the access to where they need to go. Yes, and actually um, within the last few months we've been lucky to partner with Holly Community Incorporated which is based out of Salisbury, Maryland, mm -hmm. but they have a employee of theirs come to the Kramer Center once a week and they're able to work with citizens of Queen Anne's County that have a disability to um, go out to their homes and see if there are any resources that can be applied to their home, you know, kitchen aids or putting in ramps or any wheelchair help that they could get in their homes. Um, so our representative from there can go to their homes to see if any resources can be put into them. Um, or, you know, of course, people can come to the Kramer Center and just get help filling out forms, applications, anything like that. So that can happen once a week with our disability partner. Do you have a specific day that yes. that person's mm -hmm. Good there? Good question, yes. Every Tuesday we have a representative there. So they can come any time during the normal business hours uh, on a Tuesday and get help. Okay, so they would come in the Kramer Center mm -hmm. and the receptionist would direct them to wherever that person's located? Yes, um, they could just, you know, our center is very fortunate with the workers that we have on staff. So mm -hmm. everyone's very knowledgeable and will know um, if they just say, I need help with a disability question, that's all they could need to say and they'll point them in the right direction. Okay. Now, what other access, I mean, be, is it just basically for disability? Disability and aging, um, definitely. So we have the Department of Aging, of course, at the Kramer Center. And so we have a great INA information and assistance workers that, you know, they can always come in and get help through that. Um, and the I think the biggest uh, project that Maryland Access Point is working on is a website. Okay. Um, and that is for people that can access these resources at home as well. So that website is www.MarylandAccessPoint.info and if they go to that website they can search for resources and plug in Queen Anne's County and it'll list all the resources we have available within this county. Um, so that's great if people don't want to um, leave the home quite yet to come out and get some help talking with people they can do some research at home and it's great right. for um, right. seniors that are being more literate with computers who like to do some research on their own first. Now if someone wanted to call you with a question do you have um uh, uh, what are you under in the community service when they call that number? You could call the Department of Aging and we actually have a specific uh, Maryland Access Point telephone line. Okay. So they could call 410-758-1040 and okay. access us. Okay. Any other um, things that you have coming up? that people need to know about. Yes, um, thank you for asking. Um, we do have um, some trainings coming up that 
will um, working with the Holly Community Center and going out to each of the county's senior centers and doing some disability training that works with the adults 18 and over and also targets the senior population for um, just the resources out there. We want to um, train everyone in what is available so we can um, help as many people as possible. Right. Someone might be able to do one of the things that you're training them and yes. it would give them the connection they need. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anything else we need to know? I think that's it, but um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, all of our services are free of charge, so you can just call us, ask us a question. Um, no question is too simple or too difficult, so we just hope that we can reach as many people as possible. Now, the other thing that you're working on mm -hmm. with the um, Department of Aging, because I go in there and, and help out, so I know it's coming up, yes. is Senior Summit. Yes, we're so excited. We so, love the Senior um, Summit. It's coming in May. It is, and let me get the dates, the exact dates. Um, so the Senior Summit this year is Friday, May 17th. So it's 2013, and the time will be 9.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. And it, of course, is at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park, uh -huh. um, just like every year. So we're very excited to um, have them as a sponsor to help us have it there. Mm -hmm. And some of the activities. I know you're in charge of vendors, so mm -hmm. there's been people probably contacting you as far as coming out there and, and what's going to be available for the seniors to get information on. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a lot of great vendors as usual and a lot of new sponsors actually, so we're very fortunate that the community has really stepped up to wanting, wanting to help the, um, the seniors of Queen Anne's County as sponsors. Um, so our gold sponsor is the Shore Health Systems. Okay. And then we have a few silver sponsors, um, Anne Arundel Medical Center, we have the Chester River Health System, Hartfields at Easton, of course the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park, Queenstown Bank, and William Hill Manor. So we're grateful for those. Now, each of those sponsors will have some type of display mm -hmm. and things that they, activities they will do yes. and information they mm -hmm. give the seniors. When you come out there, that's, mm -hmm. you know, you, you can collect information. If you have questions about some of their facilities, mm -hmm. they'll be able to answer yes. those questions. Are there other business vendors or anything that you know of? That yeah, we do have a lot of them. Um, the Billings and Murphy Dentist down in Ken Island, um, Annapolitan Assisted Living, Chesapeake Keering, Chop Tank Electric, Heart of Hands Home Care, Holly Community, um, Home Call, Maryland Primary Care Physicians, the Orthopedic Center, Tidewater Physical Therapy, and many more. So we're very fortunate this county really comes together to put on a great event. And when they stop at those businesses, it's, you know, like we stopped one year to like Delmore of a Power mm -hmm. and talk to them and he was talking about what seniors could do in their home mm -hmm. to try to help conserve and, and yes. that type of thing. Changing out your light bulbs mm -hmm. and they explain the difference mm -hmm. because sometimes people just don't realize mm -hmm. how much they can save by doing one simple change of a light bulb. Right, that's very true. The The Senior Summit is a great time for, you know, putting all of these organizations together so the seniors can get a lot of information all in one place, one day. So they're, all of our vendors and sponsors are there handing out information, willing to talk with people if they have specific questions or just want some tips like you described. They're there to pass out information. They give away freebies a lot of times. Right. So that's always fun and exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the one year I was watching some of them because they'd go around and they're looking for a certain booth that has oh, a yeah. dot or the whatever. Good stuff, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. They always look for that. Yeah. And then you have a luncheon that they provide. Mm -hmm. um, now that there's a cost to that, I think there like, is. We're also very excited for that, though, because um, Chick-fil-A is helping to sponsor the lunch. So for just $7, that gives you the lunch ticket. You get a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A and also some sides. You would get coleslaw, applesauce, and dessert. Um, and it also includes your morning coffee and a Danish. So if you're there for the morning, that right. you'd get that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else that you'd like to tell us about that you are working on or... Um, just look for, at the Senior Summit. Feel free to look for, you know, the entertainment. The Jones boys will be out there. Um, different exercise demonstrations, lots of health screenings, which is a great time to take part in those. And 
just to help stay healthy. Yeah, I healthy. know some of the seniors um, that do, like the line dance, mm -hmm. did a demonstration last year. Uh -huh, and yes. There was a Zumba class, so. Yeah, it's I a mean, lot of fun. It's, it gives them a chance to be active mm -hmm. and demonstrate what they're doing in the centers. Definitely. So we hope to see everyone on May 17th at 9.30 to 2 p.m. at the 4-H Park. Thank you for the interview, Annie. Thank you. Keep See us you next informed. Time. All right. <laughs>